Hello, this is Yugi Swagdilis, and I'm doing a little recap on the Anaheim. Yeah, right. I don't remember my hands like that. The so I'm doing my little recap of the Anaheim Regionals that passes Saturday. Um, let's see. It was it was a well organized regional. Well, we started two hours late. I was tired as hell. I don't know if uh, if you were there. I was taking a, a couple naps on the tables. Uh, the previous night. It was like 2 in the morning and I was driving back from Rio, Rio, Alto, Rio Alto, Rio Alto, I don't know. Um, took like 40, 50 minutes to get back so I didn't fall asleep until 3. And then I woke up like around 5, no, I wouldn't sleep around like 2 now, 2.30. I woke up at 4.30, showered, and then met up with my friends and then, ugh. So... Once I was there, um, I did a couple of trades, sold some cards, um, made some of my money back from the tin case that I was opening. Um, one, th one thing that sucks that happened there was I remember when I was in line, there was this guy that was um, what's called he was looking around and he was asking if you if you've seen a black dick a black deck, and I'm like, oh, this guy's trying to be funny, you know, um, if you've seen a black dick or something. But then later on, he was like asking if he's seen a black deck box and. I feel bad for the guy that he lost his deck. He was running, he was running Dragon Rollers, and um, I think he left his bag on the side, and, and he couldn't find his deck, and he just kept asking everyone, and you know, it just sucks to lose all your stuff, especially if you have like um, expensive cards. If you have like, if you have like a Draco sack or a big guy, and just lose it and not play in the event, it just like sucks. And then um, once I was like close, like to um, for, for the registration. Um, one of the, I think, main judges that was there, he was, um, he pointed me to some guy, um, cause, like, you're, to get your packs and uh, to get your, like, little deck list reviewed, uh, he pointed me to follow some, um, guy in blue, and then I followed him, and I ended up in the, in the line to, like, get, um, your Konami code, and I was like, shit, I'm in the wrong line, so I went back, and I asked him to, which line should I go to? And he's like, oh shit, like, you're you, you're Swaggy Duels. And I'm like, oh crap, you actually know me? Like, I don't, you know, I just have this little small channel and, you know, I don't really think that one knows me or even though they know me, they probably, like, hate my, uh, the, the stuff that I bring out. And then he was like, oh yeah, you know, like, that he subscribed to me, that he knows my videos. And I'm like, oh wow. Uh, so shout out to him if he's watching it. And then, uh... In my five packs, um, last regionals in uh, Los, Los Angeles, um, I opened up my packs and then I did like a little funny clip where I pulled a Draco sack. And because like I pulled bad in the last regional, I was like, you know what, I don't want to record the, my pack openings this time. And I was able to pull it in Angel of Zera. And at the time when I pulled it, it was worth like 15 bucks. And then towards like round five of, of the tournament, it, the price went down to 10 because like vendors are selling 15 and then all of a sudden 10 and then my friend was like oh I'll give you 7 bucks for it and I'm like man you know what go yeah whatever so he just gave me 7 bucks for Angel Zero alright now for the my matchups um, I was uh, running Malefic Skill Drain again um, I just like the deck how like it, it always gets um, Gadgetron Dragon, Dragon like first turn and then um, Necro Valley just cancels out your opponent's graveyard since a lot of decks really rely on the graveyard. And then, um, it's just like, it's easy to um, bring out high beaters. And then the effect of Skill Drain. Skill Drain uh, just like um, shuts down a lot of decks. And then, even though Roy Tribute got hit to one, it's great. Uh, one of my duels when I was playing Agents, I was able to Roy Tribute and he discarded his whole hand. I think it was Agents. Or it was another duel, I can't remember. And then Pot of Duality went to three, so that one better for me. Um, pretty much it for one deck. So game one, round one, um, I went. I played against Evil Swarms. Um, I went two. I went one two, so I lost that game. Uh, first duel, I think he. He got the first duel. He uh, summoned Heliotrope and then he wasn't able to summon uh, Ophion. I forgot how. And I think I've affected Skill Drain also, so um, he beat me around one. And then game two, 
I opened up with double Gachachan dragons, I believe. Yes, I opened up with double uh, dragons. Um, no, no, I summoned one. I summoned one. And I attacked with 22. But wait. I forgot what monster he had. I think he had a hero trope. Yeah, there you go. He had a hero trope. And I summoned double Gadgetron Dragon. And then he for he saves zone his Heliotrope. So I attacked with each um Gadgetron Dragon. So I he took twenty one points of damage, leaving him at fifty one fifty nine. And then next turn I drew a pod duality. And then I duality and I was gonna get a MST, and as soon as I was gonna get the MST, he just scooped since um I was gonna MST save zone and I was destroyed and you know Two, three thousand beaters, so that's six thousand direct damage. So I just got that game, and then game three, he opened up. Um, I cited some cards. I cited Thunder King and Ed Exile Force, just in case of Ophion. And uh, what's called Heroes first. He summons Thunder King and sets two. I was also able to summon uh, draw Thunder King, so I summoned Thunder King, and I was expecting to crash, so I attack, save zone. So my monster destroyed, and he had a Thunder King faced up. So um, I be I remember at first I was trying to discard Commanded to search Necro Valley, but then it was like, oh Thunder King. I'm like, I forgot. So I couldn't search out Necro Valley, and couldn't special special summon my first turn um, Gadgetron Dragon. So um, he the next turn he just summoned two Evil Swarms, attacked, and then made Ophion, so I couldn't summon, and then I just there's nothing I could do. Um, game two, Miss Valley, Miss Valley Ninjas or Ninja Miss Valley. Um, this deck just shut me down completely. First duel, he was able to summon uh, Hanzo, and then that um, he searched the um, trans, transforming whatever card, um, whatever, and he was uh, he what's called like he set another one and then played the field spell, and then. He trans wait, transformed, not transform, translegate or something. Uh, his Sanzo to a Dark Smog, and then flipped over a anti-spell fragrance. So my turn, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't set no field spells because of dark. No, he summoned dark. Um. He also, you know, he transformed to dark. Um, dark smog, dark smog, not dark. Dark. Summer or something. I forgot that that blackbird with that doesn't actually send cards. So I couldn't set any cards, and then anti uh, spell fragrance. I had to set my spell cards before activating them, so I couldn't do nothing. And then after I just scooped, and then well, okay, I scooped because I couldn't do nothing. I turned that that duel, and then thinking back, I had two cyber malefic cyber ends and two malefic stardust in my hand. I could have detach, I could have banished and summoned one of those monsters since he had a field spell. And I could have just attacked over his monster. So one little misplay, one little one duel can cost you a round or the whole event, or just the one little mistake could, uh, you know, destroy the outcome of the whole of the whole thing. And then uh, round three, I was playing agents. That was a pretty long duel. Um, since uh, I did, I did summon a lot of big beaters. And then um, he was able to summon. Uh, I think Tor he went. He summoned Tor Guide, and summoned the other Tor Guides. And he went into a uh, Fortune, that bird that makes you gain 500 each turn, each standby phase. And he just kept going up. I actually have the light one right here. I got him. I kept going, get him down. I got him to 5,500, 4,500. I got him to 1,300, and then that's when he summoned the bird and. He went to 1 800, 2 300, 1 700 because I kept attacking, 2 200, 2 700, and 3 700, and until I actually like brought him all the way down. And that was a pretty long duel. Then, game two, um, I had a Malefic Cyber end, and I attacked, and then he had uh, Trigodia. He summoned Trigodia, and then he was gonna Dark Hole. And I, act I activated Dark Bribe, and Dark Bribe allowed him to draw a card. And next turn, uh, he was like, oh, like, oh, you know, the, at the end of the duel, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, he was glad uh, that I Dark Bribe because he drew 
another Trigodia, and he discarded Trigodia because they're both level 10s, and took my Cyber Maleficent Red and didn't just attack me. And right when we were start, so right when we we're gonna start uh, round three, um, we both drew our five cards, and then the time just end up, and uh, the main judge um, called to you know to uh, call over a judge if you're not done with your duel, and we were both like just starting. We both had 805 cards in our hand, and we're like, you know what? Let's, let's just end it as a draw. And then round round five. No, round four. Round four, I played this um, blue eyes deck. Uh, it was just it was like the structure deck, where and I don't know. He drew like two bad hands on both rounds, so I two of him, and then we played for fun after. And um, I I didn't. Well, it's called I didn't. I don't want to say I let him, but uh, I was just like you know what? Um, you know, Ari he Ari won. You know, Ari, we already gave this the little sheet to the judge. And we're like just playing for fun, so he summoned. Um, he was activated. He activated Royal Decree, and then I had to. And then uh, he summoned um, Blue Eyes Maiden or something like that. And then I I attacked. I attacked on purpose, you know. I attack, and then he switched it to defense, and then um, he special summoned Blue Eyes from his deck. Uh, and then round five, um, I had a no show, so my opponent didn't show, so. I believe I don't know if that's an automatic win or it doesn't really count it doesn't really affect your points. And then um then round six Then round six, um crap. Sorry about that. I'm taking child development, and I recently got the baby, so <sighs> I'm actually got this got me sweating right now. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> so I'm feeding my uh, fake baby right now. <laughs> All right, so round six, um, I again no show, and. Again, no show, so I was like, damn. And then what's called one of my friends that actually went with me. Um, he was um, he had barely like two losses, and he was running to his round six match, and he what's called it. it um, I was sitting at my table, and it had already been three minutes, and I'm like, damn, dude, that's that's game loss. Like he already had a game loss, and he was running, and he couldn't find his table. And then I told him like, you should better find your table because you already got a game loss. And finally, he got to his table, and he was right, okay. It is recording. I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was recording. And then what's called? Um, he was playing Fire Fist, and he, he well no, the, his opponent was playing Fire Fist. He's played Midochis, and he had his side deck already for Fire Fist. Like he had overworks. He had a bunch of other stuff, and um, he he lost. And you know, the, after having a game loss, he. He was, he, you know, he was out. So he had, he had three losses, and at the end he says, "Oh, what's called, um, you know, like he was, uh, he went to the food court. He was coming back, and then um, some guy stopped him. He was like, oh, do, you, do you have trades?' And he was like, "Yeah." And then he stopped and traded with him, and that's why he was late. Um, let's see. I, like after I got my game one, like a my game one after like uh, a tent. I don't think it's ten minutes that your opponent doesn't show. You know, it's like it's like it counts as a drop. Um, after they drop, my opponent dropped from round six. Um, I went to the food court. Um, I bought a burger and I was expecting it to come with fries on it, but I just got a burger and I ate. And then I was expecting to keep on playing because I I currently had. Damn, sorry about this. Um, I currently had a uh, three win. No, uh, I think I had two wins. Let's see. Yeah, three wins. Three wins, two losses, and one draw. And I was like, maybe I can still get my invite. I don't know. Like, I, once you have three losses, you know, I know you don't get your invite, but I barely had two. And I was like, well, I don't know if I can still get it with the draw. And then uh, my friends they decided, like, you know what? Uh, they're tired. I'm also tired. I don't know if I can play four more rounds. 
uh, since I have two days of not, not, not good sleep. So we went back, we went to his house and all that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into further detail about his house or about what we did. Uh, at the regional, I, I did some trades. Uh, I did some bad trades too. Uh, oh, Asian Eyes was there too. Um, my, one of my friends, he actually uh, bought some car car D's and got a picture with, with Asian Eyes. I saw him later on, but I didn't. I don't know. I didn't want to say hi or take a picture with him or anything. He was like in his own little group talking. And then um, I traded um, two play sets of Dragon Rulers, one of Blaster and one of Tidal, or a Concealer Pallades and a Forbidden Lance. Um, I don't. I didn't know the value of the cards. They just told me, oh, it's like um, uh, there's there's two bucks uh, each, and I'm like. I right, fine, whatever. I'm, I don't even need them. Like if I, I'll, I was thinking of making a dragon tin, but a dragon deck, but I'm like, eh, ah, fuck. And what's called the renders were selling them four bucks each for each dragon. I'm like, shit. Like, I want like the guy that said um, that he would trade. Um, like I was like, would you trade for two lances? And he's like, no, nah, something less value. So I'm like, all right, fine, for ladies. Eh, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, one that did bother me was. Uh, this guy, uh, he was interested, he looked at my binary, he was interested in, um, the cover card of Lord Attacking on Galaxy, um, Lord Attacking on Dragon or something, um, uh, Galaxy Eyes, and I looked at value at the, up on eBay and it was like 12, and then, uh, he's like, what's your offer? And I'm like, um, 9? He's like, sorry, no. And then I'm like, 8? And like, no. 7? Like, no. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'll keep going down lower. And he's like, I'll take a five. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, after really, I dropped a lot of, like, like fuck. Man. Like, I, I didn't say it to his face, because I don't know, I don't want to be, like, rude or anything like that, but, you know. I was crying. I don't know if he wants to stop. I got burped it. It's so, uh, um, you know, I didn't want someone to his face that. Uh, you know, like, really, you want to go that low? And then, uh, what cards I just sold, like, I sold a Abyss Sphere for 8, Ultimate, and I sold another Secret Swords for 8, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't really good, do that good in this uh, regional, you know, lack of sleep, and uh, doesn't it feel like it? <laughs> So I am taking child development, so that's why I have a baby with me. And uh, I was supposed to take him, I was supposed to get in November, but uh, my fifth period, uh, my teacher called me and she asked me if I wanted to get a baby that was open. And I'm like, yeah, I might as well get it over with. And now I'm here with the baby. <sighs> Fine, done. Don't have to deal with that until a while. So just. Get the little bracelet and a little dirty diaper and put it off to the side. So now for the giveaway, yeah. I know people have been waiting for that. Um, the giveaway was like in June, July. Uh, but what I noticed, like, I did a video where I said I was going to be gone for two weeks. And in those two weeks, I saw that there was a dramatic change that uh, some views were getting, like, low. No, not views. Some, uh, my subscribe count, it was going down, it was going up, it was going down. And I'm like, what the hell is just going on and all that? And there are some people that are commenting like, "Oh, you already got three thousand, three thousand, three hundred subscribers. Like, do the do the giveaway now." I'm like, I don't know. Like, people are telling me to do the giveaway. You know, like, um, like it's you know, I'm doing this like just for you guys. Like, I'm not getting any money of this like out of YouTube. I'm actually um, not losing money, but I'm breaking even off the giveaways I'm doing, off the money I'm actually earning from the ads. Uh, some people, some YouTubers are like, oh, you don't make any money off it yet. No, they're like, I'm going to do another video about, you know, how you, how YouTubers or main YouTubers or low YouTubers, how much they actually make um, about making money right now. I'm going to ask you for do a little favor, like how uh, Andrew Pickens with the Silent Enigma always does. Um, please contribute and, you know, just click on add. It'll it will benefit me in some certain ways, whatever. Oh yeah, that, um, I'll do another video on that. Um, then what's called, there's comments in like, dude, the give one on that. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to wait a couple weeks, see what happens. And then I'll do the giveaway. And then uh, slowly it kept 
kept decreasing. I'm like, you know what? They're, you know, like, I'm, I'm not doing this. Like, I don't know. Just the uh, little block right now. Okay. So I'm doing this as a little payback for people subscribing to me and watching my content, not for people just like subscribing. Oh yeah, enter me, and then just expecting to get free stuff. You know, um, I'm actually trying to give away to people that are interested in my stuff and um, I like to you know like to thank you in that way okay okay so I just um, copied all the names onto Microsoft Word and as if you see my other videos I just copy and paste that name and then use this um, generator to um, randomly pick somebody and once so it's called like they see this video um, then they'll you know claim their prize just gotta open up this this um, file and then just put in the random uh, word generator war, name generator so first I gotta find the title to this um, it's easy if I do here no yes so if um, I had a link on that video, if you went to my other channel and saw my episode of Ghost Encounters, um, you could have gotten a second entry for commenting and a, you know a second entry for commenting and liking that. Oh my God! Again. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so after so many distractions, this baby, uh, finally I got all the names on here and ready to put it into the random word generator and we're going to decide the winner. So I'm not going to stop the video because people are going to be like, oh, you cut it and edited it on that. Nope. <laughs> oh, was all of them then? I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright, so all the names right here. Just going to. Scroll down, wait, you know what? Yeah, just scroll down, highlight them. Um, whoever got put in the second entry, uh, their names right next to each other. Um, okay. And over here is the one I always like to use, uh, this random version or whatever. Um, it's always, it's accurate, it doesn't really, you know, like some people say like, oh, um, you know, like some of these word generators or whatever are rigged, but no, not this. Like if I put... Uh, random numbers or letters and then uh, just type it in whatever and then uh, right here uh, what's called like you could choose top writer or fruit machine which is like a slot machine and it will just randomly pick a winner you know scrolling down through them uh, it doesn't really scroll that much to them so and then if I do it again, it's uh, not going to pick the same person, it's going to pick a different person, so you see that, it's not rigged, it just does like a slow turn, that's why I always like to do the typewriter one, since like, it just does a bunch of like words, like, you're not going to know which one it is, yeah, so like that, so now, Gonna edit words and delete all this mumbo jumbo I typed in. Oh crap, did I paste? Oh no, what was that? Okay, just delete all that and then go over here to Word and then right click and then copy. Copy all the names and go back over here and then mine's a little jittery since you know I was just carrying that baby around. And there you go, all the names are on here. Um, so I'm just going to pick the typewriter and as soon as I pick this button uh, it's going to pick the one winner and depending on that winner if he's going to decide to take all the 10 packs or um, likes to split the 10 packs whatever um, he has a, the winner will, has a week to uh, claim the prize and um, 
you know, like PM or comment what they want. And if uh, they don't claim it in the week, um, then a new person will be chosen. So you have until, let's see, today's the 16th. Um, I say until the next Monday. So next Monday is the 21st? No, 23rd. So you have until the 23rd to claim your prize and then comment what you want. And then, um, you know, I'll, try, I'll see if I can get it for you because um, I did say all packs, whatever. But there's some packs that are hard to get. Legend of Blue Eyes are like four ba four bucks each pack and all that. Um, then like Meta Raiders or some there's like some some difficult hard packs to get if they're not like near the new um, near the new set. And also I was, also like to um, show this off. Um, it didn't matter how many times you commented a day or the times you commented. You're still gonna get that one entry. Or that one, uh, yeah, you're still gonna get that one entry for per video. Uh, I don't know if I might change that up, of, you know, for the next giveaway. So right here, the, um, there's 202 comments, and then right here, Adrian, um, you just kept coming like every day. That was like a month, and then please, please opening, please, I need your win openings, whatever, and then I really need them, please, whatever, um, you know didn't really matter how many times you commented, you know, thanks for the view for each day, uh, but it does not really affect, uh, there's other people that actually did that, like comments over here, and then was closer to like the below part and also commented, uh, but either way, only one entry, oh, only one, I went through all the comments, um, you know, so one person was entered for each video. Oh, not this one. All right, so as soon as I type, um, press this, uh, that winner will be chosen. So Delta eight six five zero. So you are the winner of this giveaway, and you have the choice of uh, whatever ten packs. Uh, not whatever ten packs, but some ten packs that you want. If you're actually you also want to split them. Uh, let's look for Delta right now. Uh, let's see, I'll probably just skip this later on. Delta. I just want to confirm that he is subscribed if he is. I'm starting to sweat. I don't know, probably might skip them, but sometimes it doesn't show all the um, subscribers. So either way, he has uh, one week to claim his prize. If not, then another person will be chosen. All right.